first drill we're going to talk about is a uh, hip driven breaststroke type drill. Uh, we're going to watch Barry on one of these clips doing the drill. We call it load and shoot. Uh, the drill is really trying, again, to connect ideas more than we're over focusing on a singular technique. And we do that too, we work on techniques. But this drill in particular is trying to connect uh, several items. When you're swimming a little longer breaststroke, we're trying to connect the in sweep of the catch to the drive of the hips and also uh, the drive of the heels. Uh, what you'll see in load and shoot is the swimmer starts kicking on their stomach, brings their hands in, kicks staying on the surface. As they're bringing their hands in, they're also bringing their hips in and their heels up and then unloading that all at the same time. So again, on the shooting uh, phase, connecting the snap of the feet, the pop of the hips, and the extension of the hands. On the loading phase, connecting the drive of the, or the in-sweep to the drive of the hips and the drive of the heels. So we'll go and watch Barry do that right now. All right, what Barry's gonna do is a load and shoot drill. He's connecting the drive of his heels to his hips. Um, to the extension of the stroke out front, trying to think about creating one connected motion. The snap of the feet is affecting the extension of the top of the stroke. Now what we're going to talk about is uh, kind of shoulder driven breaststroke. Again, we uh, here are always experimenting with different speeds, different types of strokes. And, and as you get faster, the connections of the stroke uh, change, become a little bit different. And anytime we want to go shoulder driven or a little faster, we're going to talk about maybe flattening out the body just a little bit more, not getting so much uh, amplitude in the body motion. And one drill that we like to do is very simple, uh, head up breaststroke with a freestyle kick. Uh, the freestyle kick really stabilizes the core, keeps the hips a little flatter. And now we're thinking about connecting the in sweep to the shoulders, to the shoulders now. Uh, really trying to get a good grab on the water and then shooting those hands forward. Um, as he'll do this, the first uh, lap you'll watch, he'll go 12 and a half head up breaststroke with a freestyle kick. 12 and a half head down. Then on the second 25, we'll do a couple strokes head up with a freestyle kick, uh, really setting up the speed and the connection to his shoulders and his back. And then he'll allow himself to go right into some fast shoulder driven breaststroke. And you'll see when he goes into that breaststroke, he really tries to maintain a lot of the same connections that are going on with the upper part of his body and that fast turnover rate that you need for sprint breaststroke. All right, so we're gonna do two swims here. Barry's gonna work on shoulder-driven breaststroke. Start with a head up with a freestyle kick. The freestyle kick is flattening his hips out and allowing for a higher stroke rate. Really thinking about connecting the in-sweep to his shoulders. So he just went a 12 and a half there uh, with his head up. And now he's gonna do a couple cycles with his head up and then try to transfer that right into some fast breaststroke. 